Yo, what's going on guys? I'm Spanky and um, well, we hit 1000 subscribers so I decided to make for the first special video OBS tutorial. So yeah, as you can see we're right now on OBS and I will tell you maybe some things to help you with recording your videos. Alright, so first what you need to do is run OBS at administrator. In my case it helped me with really laggy recordings and Without that, it was looking like video is recorded in like 1 FPS. So better if you will do that, it won't cost you anything. And for the next thing, you're going to the view section here and click stats and make sure that your skip frames due to the encoding lag will be less than half percent. Less is better. Uh, what this do is frame skipping. Like you're recording 360 FPS, but 90% of them will be skipped. So there will be only 10% so it's like 36 FPS recording. So <laughs> yeah, keep this as low as you can. And uh, Okay, now let's go to the settings and go to the output. And here go to recording and also make sure that output mode is set to advanced. And yeah, you're on recording. Make sure that you have NVIDIA NVENC H264 new if you have of course the new NVIDIA GPUs like RTX 20 series, 30 series or even 10 series is capable I think or maybe not. I'm not sure here but if you can set this it will help you with the video quality. For the bitrate here you can set CBR, CQP, VBR. I personally choose CBR because CQP was causing too big encoder like so I have CBR and try to keep the CBR on at least 70,000 kilobytes per second. That's the least amount what you want here. And if you pick CQP, because I know there's CQP meta right now, this set at least to 20, 24 maybe, something like this, but not higher values. And CQ level less is better but of course it's bigger file size and yeah with cqp you're getting anyway bigger file size with the cbr so you need to decide what you prefer of course for preset i would say to set quality or at least performance and don't go for these options which you can see right there max quality if you can handle this there's no problem take that it will look maybe a little better Maybe there's not big visual differences, but I don't know. I was sometimes able to tell that the preset is a little bit lower. So yeah, set this to quality or at least to the performance. Here, look ahead and psycho visual tuning unchecked and GPU and max B frames to zero. It just don't improve your video image quality. So maybe it does, but it's not worth at all. Okay, now let's go to the audio. Here you set 48 kilohertz. Uh, maybe it's not giving a lot of differences between 44.1 kilohertz. Now to the video. And here you will get the motion blur, which you want. Like you want to make your videos look really smooth, outstanding, and make people like, wow, how this is so smooth. It's just 60 FPS on YouTube. And I can feel like it's 360 FPS. So yeah, you'll have here option to set up and you need to pick fractional FPS value. And here write 360. So this is the best motion blur. I mean, over that is just overkill, but not every single PC can handle this. So if your PC can handle this, try to set this to 120. If it's still too big value, try to set this to 90 and if it's still too much, set to 60. 60 is just minimum what you need. I know there will not be a motion blur, but still it is better than 30 FPS. And now as you can see there is also canvas resolution and scale resolution. So canvas is basically your monitor resolution and scaled is what your final video will be in which resolution of course and if you can handle the 1080p as scaled 
try to lower this to 720p uh, try to avoid that of course and for downscale filter try to set this to launchers because it will look better than other options which are there or at least to be cubic so you won't lose as much quality and last thing let's go to the advanced here set process priority to high color space to 709 and color range to partial. YouTube always is converting your videos, so you won't get any benefits out of picking here a full color range. And well, that's basically it. That's what I'm using. That's how I can explain to you how to help you with setting this up. I uh, maybe I don't know a lot of about recording, but I think I know just enough to help you with that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, hit the like button. Also, if you have any questions about this video, like how to set this and this, hit me in the comments. I will try to help you with your problem. If you have any ideas for questions for Q&A, write below this video because it's the last video where you can do this because I want to make really soon the Q&A video. And yeah, so that's basically it. And see you guys next time.